Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. Today we're going to look at a program called SolarWix Composer. It's a few years old. Uh, it's a documentation program um, that, that SolarWix have had. And um, it's used for like instruction manuals, documentation, and that kind of stuff. But I believe that, um, uh, you know, it's one of these products. When you get it, maybe you can find other uses for it. And um, there is a lot of communication going on many times on the shop floor. And I think that this tool might be, um, you know, could be, could be valued like that. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Jump into SolidWorks. I have an assembly here. Uh, of a, a tombstone machining project and you know you, you model it up in SOLIDWORKS you may be using something like CAMWORKS to throw on your toolpath and the, the communication today will be like a setup sheet right and in, in my past what I then did was I had to go out and take some digital pictures because many times you have to show people how things fit or how, what order they have to set things up in and clean things and stuff like that uh, and that took a lot of that took a lot of time, right? Running around out there waiting for the first piece to come out and snap a picture and bringing it into paint and try to make it look somewhat understandable what you were trying to communicate. And you know, hopefully there was no change, right? Because if there was something changed to it, then you had to take all the pictures over again or you know, black markers or whatever. Well, Xanax Composer is the answer to that. So like I said, it was used to kind of like, you know, you, you make a product and then you maybe have to do, do documentation in the end. Uh, that's kind of like what I think that it mostly gets advertised for. But, <laughs> well, you know, we can find other handy uses for it. Um, so, so in this case here, I want to show you how Composer looks like. And what my thought is you can kind of like use it to quickly give the information to the operators on the order that they need to do certain things in. Let me jump over to Composer here quickly. Uh, this is the, the assembly brought into Composer. And, uh, it, you know, so, so, so it's just bringing in the SOLIDWORKS file format. Uh, it's actually CAD neutral. It can bring all different kinds of things in. Um, but it's very easy to use, you know, click on something, hit eight, and it hides things. You would see that I actually brought in a, a feature tree here from SolidWorks. It also brings in metadata uh, and stuff like that. And you can even bring in other SolidWorks models. So in this case here, uh, I had kind of like had a SolidWorks handle that I modeled up. So I merged that right into the document. And I can turn, whoops, and I can turn that um, on and off by just checking over here. Now you can see that the handle shows up. So the idea is that we can very quickly create some instructions for the operators that makes sense of what we're trying to get them to do. So, you know, this handle here, well, you know, maybe I want to do a uh, show it a little bit different here. Actually, you know, let me just right click and move it out of the way a little bit. So very quickly, we can transform and move things around. Uh, it has a neat tool here called the digger tool where we can actually, it's like a, a, a mirroring tool kind of thing. You can do a lot of other things. Um, but in this case, here, I'm just going to snap a picture of this here as kind of like a, a blown up a little bit because this is maybe the first thing I want to show the operator is well you know take this picture here and um, you know we need to insert uh, this this uh, handle here over to my part um, and, and the idea here is that to really quickly create some information for our operator so I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna snap it literally a picture of this but I'm gonna move on I'm just gonna hide this image for a second and then maybe I I bring my my uh, my handle back here to to about a location where it should be now in this program here you can actually line and mate and stuff like that but when it comes to documentation we're not really you know maybe that um, um, interested in showing everything to the smallest details so we showed in the first picture how the operator needs to to um, to insert this handle and now maybe in the next one I will go in here and I will snap a, a arrow to here just to kind of like uh, quickly document what I'm what I'm looking to do and one of the things about composer is that you really have a lot of control over a lot of things so this arrow I'm just inserted here first of all I'm gonna make it flat and I'm just gonna adjust the the radius of that arc a little bit maybe I don't really like the color so very quickly you can change colors in here maybe just go with like a neon green um, I can grab ends and move these things around trying to quite quite quickly um, give uh, the operator an idea about what I'm trying to do uh, maybe something like the opacity we want to adjust that too like that right I think this kind of like 
quickly shows the operator what I want you to do after you insert that handle, I snap another picture. So I'm kind of like creating a little storyboard over here uh, with this. So I'm just going to move on here and, um, you know, uh, hide these different parts here. And then maybe just like I did before um, with the handle, I'm going to grab this part here and I'm going to move that one out, right? So just like that, I'm now moved that part out. And I now just maybe grab another uh, style of arrow here, like a straight one. And again, I have all the different same options, of course, as I had with the other one. So we can very quickly go in and change this and maybe show uh, very quickly what we want to do. We can even add something like, maybe I add some text here, say four times. And again, um, of course, with these boxes, we of course also have um, a ton of, of options in here, text and outline and stuff like that. So I maybe think that this looks looks pretty good. And uh, I just snap another picture, right? So you can kind of like see how quickly in here I was able to show uh, these different steps that, that we had to be able to do uh, just this portion here. So very quickly I've done this. I'm going to go in and uh, just hide uh, some of these different components we have here. Um, let's get this sign out of the way. All different parts. Spin around here. Just like that one. Hide that. Like that. Uh, so we kind of like showed our operator how we, we want to un unload uh, the different things here. Now, another thing that is really neat about this program is that in the workshops here, we actually have different libraries. So all these images you see I have over here to the, to the right side was actually most of those images I just downloaded from from Google images so maybe I want to show that you know you need to put your you need to have your safety safety glasses on here right uh, I also found an image of uh, the type of air gun we maybe use in in, in our shop and uh, you can get that out of the website of the, of the manufacturer or whatever um, very quickly here, I can go in and, and show this illustration again, maybe, you know, adding some kind of an, another um, arrow or, or, or something like that to, to kind of like show what I'm what I'm trying to do. So very quickly here, um, I have I have applied, you know, some information to our operators. And if I'm happy with this, again, I just snap another picture. So I think very quickly. We have, we have applied uh, these different steps for our operators to see these. And these can all be saved out as images. They can actually also be uh, put out as players, uh, where if you have touch screens on your shop floor and stuff like that, you can actually have buttons and you can click on each image and, and see the different the different ones uh, as you as you go go through. Uh, so so that's, that's really handy, right? You, as you can see, very quickly we can do this. But where I think that one of the key things comes in is now where there's a change. Uh, and, and, and actually in this case here, I have kind of like a typical instance where I have modeled it up in SolidWorks, I have machined it, and now I'm making my documentation, documentation. And suddenly I realized that I forgot uh, to insert some stops. Because the next thing I might want to do here is actually show uh, that I want to insert some parts in here, uh, some, some, some new parts. Uh, the new stock, the raw blanks, and you will see that I forgot some stops. Um, so, so that's not that's not very cool. I'm just gonna, you know, show it here, right? So, what do you do then? Well, you know, that can be a problem. Well, we can't with can't with 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 with, with this SolidWorks Composer product. That's not a big issue. If we go back to SolidWorks, you would actually see that I did end up modeling in some stops here. Uh, into the part here that I just, um, you know, as, as an afterthought, I applied those. And all I really have to do on the composer side is to go in and say, I want to update that file with a new file. Uh, so that's how quickly you can go in. And what composer does is it goes in here, s compares this model with the other model. And um, you will see over on my assembly tree that I now have those four clamps available. But not only that, have, do I have them available here, they are also now available uh, in, my, in my different views, 
okay so if i turn them on within those different views i can actually have them have them on here and show them like they were supposed to like they were supposed to be right that was that was the way that i kind of like intended this so very quickly i can go over here and all i do then is i say well you know what i have realized that this view here needs to be updated and that view will now be updated with those stop blocks same thing if i go over to the next view where they're not assembled well we bring them in here just turn them on inside of here and say update this view and it has now been brought in so very quickly we can go in here and and, and take this in here and, and, and bring it in so i can now go out and, and 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 bring in the model now how do i now get my raw stock in there well you know because we have solidworks is really just going in here um and opening up some kind of a, a part document in solidworks right and uh, we all know that SOLIDWORKS is, is, is pretty easy to, to go in and, and start creating some quick geometry here. So let me just go in and make something that is like 4, I think by 9, long. And I'm not quite sure how thick we're going to make them here. should probably measure that. For this sake here, we're just going to make them this thick here. And then we're going to save this as our raw stock. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Like that. Save it, right? And now if I go back into uh, to my, my composer in here, and uh, let me zoom out a little bit. And then again, I'll just go in and say open. And uh, we will see that we have our new raw stock out here. And I can merge it into the current document and we will open it up actually what it does is it brings it up in SOLIDWORKS and um, it will then translate it in I get a couple of here my my ex, my um, version has expired but uh, or it's going to expire not yet um, but then it brings in the model as you can see again it will go in and make sure that none of this affects the different view and uh, we will see that it brings in uh, the block here and that is now sitting over here up on top as a raw stock. I can turn it on. And now I have my raw stock that I can now go in and uh, and place in here to whatever my liking is. Uh, just like we saw before that I can move it in. Like I said, I could actually also start mating it. But, you know, maybe I'm just a little lazy just to show exactly what we have. It times that's good enough, right? Uh, we can bring it in here. You can see that I actually changed when I brought it in. I actually brought in my old backgrounds because I hadn't saved that view. So let's just make it a little sharper. Like that. And uh, now we could, uh, in the end here, maybe, again, maybe this is some kind of a an, an arrow here that we're just going to snap in here and uh, make sure that that arrow uh, gets those different tools uh, here and uh, and we could now make some kind of a note uh, that this one here needs to be um, up against the stop um, or whatever we, th we think that we we need to to do with this one here so let's just open this one up and um, maybe we use that digger tool again we can actually bring that in there Move it in there. Snap that as a picture. And uh, now I could add some kind of a text uh, in here, right? So just like that, I was actually able to very, I think very quickly, with changes and everything, uh, we have in a, in, in a short while here, created um, some, some information that we can now go in and uh, we can create uh, those images through it. So very quickly, uh, going in here, creating, you know, these different images uh, in here with the different uh, views and stuff like that. Um, so I hope that that you found um, found this this helpful. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions or any comments or anything like that, please feel free to to leave me a comment uh, or email me at lars at camstuff.com. 
Uh, I hope you found this video helpful to kind of like just see, you know, how this composer tool really works and how quickly we can apply these things to, um, uh, to, to hopefully help our operators getting, uh, you know, a better message uh, so we're not, uh, you know, making uh, mistakes. Thank you. Have a great day.